In this brief tutorial, I'm going to help you understand how we use and interpret histograms and cumulative histograms. And for, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using data from our softball hits where students went outside, we hit softballs as far as we could hit them, and we measured how far we hit. And what we have here is the Excel output after we have used the data analysis tool pack to create a histogram. So I'm assuming you understand how to create a histogram, a histogram like the one you see here. And now what we want to know is how do we interpret it? Well, let's suppose that I've got three questions up here that's going to help us answer this. Let's suppose we want to know what percent of students hit between 76 and 100 feet. One way we can answer this is we can come to our histogram look for the interval 76 to 100 feet. We see how hard a bar is and it looks to be about 11 percent. And indeed when we go to our table over here and look for 76 to 100 feet we have an entry of 11 percent for the histogram. And so the answer here is 11 feet. I'm sorry, 11 percent. There are 11 percent of our students who will hit between 76 and 100 feet. And you can tell from this histogram, very few people hit more than 200 and 50 feet, you know, to hit more than 250 feet, only 4% can hit between 251 and 275 feet. Only about 0.5% can hit more than 100 feet. Whereas, you know, most people can hit somewhere between 20 and 200 feet. Now let's suppose instead of knowing what's the probability of hitting a distance that's within one of these intervals, What's the probability of hitting a certain number of feet or less? So we're going to go back to our questions. And instead of asking what percent of students hit between 76 and 100 feet, we're going to ask what percent of students hit 100 feet or less. And there's two ways we could answer this. One, we could come across to our histogram and we can find the interval containing 100 feet. And we could add the percent of students between 76 and 100 feet, between 51 and 75 feet, 26 and 50 feet, and 1 to 25 feet. And what we would be doing, we'd be adding this bar plus that bar plus that bar plus that bar. And that would get us our answer. And I, I want to show you that right here in our table. So we want to know what percent of students hit 100 feet or less. I'm going to find the entry, 76 to 100. I'm going to go across here, and I'm going to sum the percents of people 76 to 100, 51 to 75, 26 to 50 feet, and 1 to 25 feet. And when I do that, I get 35 feet. Now you'll notice that this equals this entry over here the entry for a cumulative histogram. And indeed, that is what a cumulative histogram does. If we come, and this is our picture of the cumulative histogram, if we say, what's the percent of people who hit 100 feet or less? Well, we'll come to this bar right here. And with cumulative histograms, what matters is the end point. So 100 feet, we look over here, and we see the percentage yeah, to be about 35%. And the height of this bar basically comes from this table over here, 35%. So the entry for any histogram simply equals the sum, I'm sorry, the, the entry for any cumulative histogram, like this 69 feet, is simply the sum of the percentages for the regular histogram for all values less than that. 69%, 69%. And so now we know what percent of students hit 100 feet or less, 35%. And now suppose we want to know what percent of students hit more than 100 feet. 
Well, this is also easy. If we know 35% of students hit 100 feet or less, and then we know that it must be that 65% of students hit more than 100 feet because the 35 and whatever this number is must sum to 100. In fact, if I go 100%, one, I'm sorry, 1 minus, I'll get 65. And if we sum these two, we get 100%. And that is succinctly how we use and interpret histograms.